Spider-Man leaps into the air, dodging around the spot's portals as they fly at him. Dude, I'm all for a positive self-image, but calling yourself a god just because you're a little smarter is a little much. Spider-Man says as he leaps past another portal, managing to kick Spot in the face, but more portals appear as Spot explains, I was always smart, but I could never focus due to small portals on my brain. But when my Spot pattern shifted so that none of them were in my head, it was like waking up. He says, launching at Spider-Man, and he punches him hard in the face while dodging his attacks. But you're probably wondering how Spider-Man got here. In every Spider-Verse adventure, don't you find it weird that 616 mainline Spider-Man has never met with Insomniac Spider-Man? Well, Marvel found it weird as well, and they have been writing an ongoing story about the two of them meeting up and traveling the multiverse. So today we're going to bring you the first three issues of Spider-Man Unlimited, the ongoing story within the Marvel Infinity app. This is Comic Storian. I create audio dramas of your favorite comic books so you know what exists in the world of comics, where to get it, and what to add to your collection. This particular one is on the Marvel Infinity app. And if you enjoy these audio dramas of comic books, check us out on Spotify, Comic Storian Full Story, or support our work by going to Comic Storian's Patreon. Now let's start with issue one of Spider-Man Unlimited. Doom whirls in the air, high above the streets of Manhattan, firing another blast of energy at Spider-Man. Submit to the will of doom, he bellows, but Spidey dodges out of the way with the help of his Spidey sense. Eat my web shorts, he shouts back. He shoots a web and swings back at the villain, kicking him hard in the face, causing a static cry to come out of Doom's mouth. Hey, you're not Dr. Doom, you're a Doombot, Spidey shouts in annoyance. The Doombot fires another blast of energy, explaining that Doom has far more pressing matters than Spider-Man, and Spider-Man is not even worth his time. However, he has identified a possible threat only his genius could detect, and commands that you attend to it, the Doombot shouts. But Spidey webs up his foot, throwing the bot to a nearby rooftop, refusing to allow the Doombot to be a quest giver. The Doombot slams into the rooftop, its head twisted funny from the impact, but it still gets up to its feet. Doom knows that you will do as you're told. This matter involves one of your foes, the Spot. You have a compulsion regarding power and responsibility. The Doombot says, no longer attacking. So Spider-Man lands next to the bot. Well, I mean, if you want to be technical, he says. But he finally sighs, hanging his head. Just give me the quest already. The Doombot holds up his hand and a hologram of the spot appears. The bot explaining that Doom has learned that the spot is pursuing a course of action that could destroy the entire multiverse and it offers Spider-Man a detector watch that he could use to track the spot's energy signal. Finally, the bot turns to leave, flying off into the city. Resolve this matter, or Doom will, by annihilating whatever landmass the spot occupies, and all others unfortunate enough to dwell upon it. Spider-Man shakes his head, sighing, putting on the detector watch and activating it before leaping off into the city. Swinging through the night air, he follows the signals to the chief medical examiner's office, where the city tends to keep the remains of superpowered criminals for the fear of the danger that their powers could cause. Slipping inside, Spidey is shocked to find Spot's headless body sitting on the examining table. Don't throw open the mask, he shouts to himself, and as he continues to stare into the room, he's shocked that Spot could have even died, since he's died before, because his body usually dissolves and reconstitutes itself in the dark dimension, where his powers are from. Spidey peers from the vents trying to figure out what could be powerful enough to actually kill Spot. A short time later, Spidey is standing next to the table, having been snuck in by Detective Sevens so that he could examine the body himself. Using the detector watch that Doom gave him, Spidey passes over the body and takes a reading of the Spot's energy signature. The energy signal doesn't match the Spot. It's a much lower intensity. Spider-Man ponders, thanking the detective for her help but I want to consult with an expert on exotic energy, Spider-Man says. A little bit later, he lands in Kadesh Base at the bottom of the ocean, and he thanks Blue Marvel for seeing him on such short notice. Monica Rambeau respects you. That counts a lot, Blue Marvel says with a smile. As Spider-Man marvels at all of the sea life at the bottom of the ocean, Blue Marvel takes a look at the energy readings. He quickly discovers the truth. The body Spider-Man encountered is not the spot of their universe. Spider-Man sighs as he joins Blue Marvel at his computer screens. I knew it! I hate alternate realities. Don't get me wrong, some of my best friends are from parallel worlds, but more often than not, it's post-apocalypses and evil twins and stuff. Blue Marvel nods, explaining that the spot at the morgue only had a fraction of Spot's powers. Presumably, that's why he could be killed. A multidimensional murder mystery, perfect for a team-up! 
Spider-Man cheers, but Blue Marvel shakes his head, explaining that he has a mission in the negative zone. Though he does recalibrate Doom's detector to hone in on 616 Spot's energy signature. With that, he leads Spider-Man to his base's portals, which allows Spider-Man to once again appear in Manhattan. Back in his city, Spider-Man swings through the night air, tracking the spot to a Roxxon energy building. Through the window, he sees Spot using his powers to try and get through a massive door. Spider-Man slips through the shadows, trying to sneak up on the villain, and finally he fires a string of webbing at the villain's head, but Spot whirls around at the last moment, and the web goes through the portal on his face. Spider-Man! Hi! Been too long! How are you? Spot asks as he raises his hand and sends the web back at Spider-Man's face. Spider-Man rips the webbing off, leaping down at the villain, bouncing off the walls and going in to kick the spot, but a portal opens up in his chest and Spider-Man falls into it. Allow me to introduce you to the wall, the spot says as he throws another portal out, Spider-Man falling out of it, slamming into the wall. Ah! He gasps and Spider-Man tries to struggle to his feet. There's something different about you, he notes, and the spot nods as more portals open up around him. He explains that something happened to him. His mind is no longer full of holes so he can finally think and react. You're used to fighting a man with the mental capacity of a squirrel, but today you face a god! He shouts as he stands over Spider-Man. Spider-Man leaps into the air, dodging around the spot's portals as they fly at him. Dude, I'm all for a positive self-image, but calling yourself a god just because you're a little smarter is a little much. Spider-Man says as he leaps past another portal, managing to kick Spot in the face, but more portals appear as Spot explains, I was always smart! but I could never focus due to small portals on my brain. But when my spot pattern shifted so that none of them were in my head, it was like waking up. He says, launching at Spider-Man, and he punches him hard in the face while dodging his attacks. Spot explains that he realized that to continue with his new mental power, he had to reduce the amount of dark force energy that was in his body. So he used his portals to slip into a dimension with a Dr. Own who didn't have any powers. And so I gave that doctor own my power, and then I killed him, so he couldn't give it back, Spot says. Spider-Man whirls out of the way of another attack, firing off webs. I knew it! That's a confession! Maybe you're not as focused as you think, Spider-Man says, and the webs knock the spot against the wall, sticking him there. Confession to what? He was from a parallel Earth. You don't have jurisdiction there, Spider-Man. Joke's on you, pal. I don't have jurisdiction anywhere. Spider-Man shouts, and then he goes to knock the spot out, but another portal appears, and Spidey's fist disappears into it. Trust me, no one's going to miss him, and I only need to do it a dozen more times, and I'll be able to control my power enough so I never get wacky again. Spot says as Spider-Man drops through the portal and continues to fall through an endless loop. Wrong! I'm not going to let you kill a dozen more people, even if they are just you, even if they're all jerks. Spider-Man shouts, and then he tries to explain to the spot that he's hurting the fabric of the multiverse as he's falling endlessly. Yeah, right! Who tells you that? Spidey doesn't want to answer, and decides to whisper it. Wait, did you say Doctor Doom? The spot asks, and Spider-Man finally shoots out a web, pulling himself out of the endless portal. But the spot has freed itself. Doom's lying! Though he's afraid I'll be a threat to him now that I'm so awesome! He's using you! Spot tries to tell Spidey. But Spidey swings down, kicking the villain in the head. Even if he is, murder is wrong. That's a widespread agreed upon thing, Spider-Man shouts. And finally, Spot throws his hands up to get Spider-Man to stop his attack. Okay, you're obviously going to keep coming after me, so let's make a deal. How would you like to fix your biggest mistake? Time is just another dimension. I can take you back, let you change anything you want, Spot offers. Peter is flooded with memories of losing Gwen Stacy, losing Uncle Ben, and all of these flash through his mind, but he knows that they wouldn't want him to trade their lives for anyone else's. He refuses the deal. Spider-Man also knows that fixing things would also just create an alternate timeline anyway. Instead, he fires off more webbing, but Spot splits his body through two portals and avoids it. He nods, laughing, agreeing that the multiverse doesn't like to be changed. He creates another portal and kicks through it, cracking Spider-Man in the face. I keep forgetting you're a veteran of time travel in parallel worlds, Spot says, and he throws out another portal. Luckily for me, not everyone is. Spot says, and something leaps through the portal, an electric webbing lashes out at Spidey. He gasps in pain and falls to the ground. Ugh, come on, not you. Spider-Man says as he looks up at a large white spider symbol. You remember me, huh? Good. Then maybe I'll back off and I won't have to hurt you. The Spider-Man of Earth 1048 says, Anyone who comes after Dr. Own has to go through me. He says as he prepares for a fight. 
And that is how Spider-Man met the Spider-Man of the Insomniac universe. If you're interested in more, give this video a like, subscribe, we'll continue the series. Otherwise, the story is to be continued.